What's going on, y'all? Wolf, back at you again with another reaction. All right, so Killua has officially Godspeeded his ass out of the out of there. Out away from the fucking butlers, with Alaka, of course, being a great big brother. So what I learned about Killua is, god damn, I love him, man. He has really, really grown. Obviously, his, his god speed power is great, but dude, this guy went from being an assassin kid to uh, becoming a really good best friend, trying to save his life, a really good big brother trying to save her life, trying to get her out of that goddamn prison, you know? And just like, dude, he's just a good dude. He's just a good dude. Like, fucking Killua, you're amazing, dude. You're amazing, bro. So that's the first thing I gotta say. Uh, all right, so we gotta get we gotta get Alaka the gone, right? Uh, unfortunately, Illumi, fucking Illumi, the pretty much opposite of Killua, the fucking douchebag asshole of the family, you know, the bad big brother. He he hooked up with Hisoka, and him and he what, him and Hisoka. First of all, I like Hisoka. I like Hisoka's character, but why is he working with Illumi? God damn it! <laughs> but I guess. He's, Hisoka isn't really like a good or evil character. He's one of those, he's one of those neutral characters that really does just he, he does whatever he wants. If he feels like he wants to work for the bad guy, then he will. If he feels like he wants to work for the good guy, then he will. Uh, but one thing we can count on, count on Hisoka, he will never kill Gon and Killua because he sees them as toys that he can play with in the future in a fighting sense. You know what I'm saying? Because we know Killua lusts for power. He wants to get in good fights, and that's what he lives for. So, um, but still, he's working with Illumi. So. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, Hisoka is gonna fight Goto, it looks like. So that should be a good fight. But Hisoka's bungee gum, um, by the way, if you guys didn't know, Hisoka's bungee gum has both properties of rubber and gum, just in case you didn't know. Um, and, he, and Goto, the fucking machine gun coin user, that should be a lit fight. Um, and of course, I think Tsubone is actually keeping up with Killua in Godspeed form, which is insane. So she's uh, she's definitely one of the top butlers, it looks like. And uh, I can't wait to see what her nan ability is, if she has one. You feel me? And yeah, man, so Illumi's being an asshole. He's trying to get Aluka killed. Literally. literally this this adorable little fucking boy girl. All right? That that, that, that just loves Killua, her older brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, just because of her, her, her mysterious power that, honestly, I don't even know if it's Nen. Like, what the fuck is that? It's just a, it's just a weird power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so let's get her to Gon. Uh, shout out to Leorio. Leorio Peridi Knight. That's his last name, if you didn't know. He fucking, he has a, a Nen ability, and it's a cool one too. He has a fucking, uh, a Nen, uh, uh, a teleport punch. Very similar to the one we've seen on Greed Island, on that one boxer. That is dope. That's so dope. I'm so glad to see him finally have his Hatsu, his fucking Nen ability, and of course, I'm sure he can do more things with it too, so. Good shit, Leorio. I can't wait to see him start to get into some real fights. We haven't seen Leorio really get into a fight fight ever since fucking the Hunter exam, right? Uh, so I definitely want to see him in a fight again. Also, we saw a little glimpse of Kurapika, uh, not in his normal clothes. He actually looked like he was in a fucking Mafia uniform. So did he switch sides? Because I'm pretty sure he was um, <laughs> not working. Actually, no. Am I, am I wrong on that? I don't actually know what side he was ever working on, but he had some uh, a suit on. Right, and he looked more mature, looked older, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what side he's working on right now. I don't know who he's working for, but he looked like he was in like a, a he looked like he was in a prison on some shit, like guarding some prison. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm definitely interested to see what the fuck he was doing. And yeah, man, so let's just see. Uh, fucking go Killua, you're the best. And let's go. Uh, like and subscribe. Ep Hunter x Hunter episodes 142 and 143. <clears throat> Thank you, Hisoka. I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't know that, brother. Appreciate the appreciate the knowledge, the information. Well, honestly, this seems like a bad matchup because Hisoka can just catch it with his bungee gum, right? Fuck. Oh, shit! Wow! Okay, Goto! 
Damn. Nice counter attack, bro. Oh shit. Kisoka is that fast? I I never realized. Holy fuck. Oh, damn. He had a, So he's been had an escape plan. Oh fuck, he's gonna fire the coins back with the bungee gum? Shit. Clapping Hisoka, man. <clears throat> oh no! Wait, is that it? Fuck, dude! Okay, I thought the fight was gonna be a lot longer than that. Okay, Hisoka. Ew, there was blood on that. Yikes. That was uh, pretty brutal. Sorry, Goto. RIP, brother. What the fuck? Loki kind of attached to him. Uh, what? Did she... F <laughs> Did she turn into a fucking motorcycle? Okay, I guess there is... I guess more than you can shapeshift. <laughs> and it uses... Oh I, oh, I see. It uses aura to be faster. That's kind of cool. Are they catching up to kill it with Godspeed? No fucking way, bro. <gasps> they are. That's badass. Alright, Grandma. Alright. <clears throat> Smart move, Killua. Oh yeah! Nice, Kanari. Hell yeah! I knew she was on our side. Wow. Fucking Illumi, dude. He's such a... He's such a creepo. <laughs> and his power matches his personality, too, to just fucking control people without even caring about what they think or what they feel. God, he's such an asshole. He has a cool power, though. <laughs> That's so messed up, bro. Just random folk who are just living their lives, he just takes over them and now they're dead. Stupid. It's messed up, Illumi. Yeah, I mean, dude, fuck family. Illumi's an asshole, bro. He deserves it. <laughs> what the hell? This guy's... A... He's definitely the worst member of the of the Zoltic family when it comes to just being evil. Yeah, he deserves it. Give a fuck if he's your brother. Look how, look how Illumi's uh, manipulating soldiers run, bro. They're just like flailing and shit. My God. 
そこで我々はその思いを受け継ぎつつ共に行動する同志として前会長が過去に所属し八面六臂を成した伝説のハンター集団セイリン隊を再結成することでセイリングループ代表をテラデイン副代表をルーペそして実動部隊の長として私ブシドラが隊長を務めます我々の結束を示す意味で代表であるテラデインに票を投じることをここで宣言いたします I see they're just doing their campaign <laughs> okay ぜひとも同志テラデインに一票を投じていただきたい Damn, now the fucking Hunter Association is involved in the whole Aluka thing? Holy fuck, man. Alright then, Hisoka. God. Well, he's getting his fill, isn't he? He beat Goto, he killed all these fucking people? Jeez. Hey! Oh! Riders high. What the fuck? She can turn into a. <laughs> wow. What a power, dude. She's a fucking transformer. <laughs> Dude, it's so unsettling to look at Illumi's fucking minions with their eyes like rolled back while they're talking and shit. Ugh. God. It's disturbing. ということだ。テラデイン。全滅だ。ハリ人間を追っていた俺たちのメンバーや撮影隊、挑戦の連中も。ブシドラも。バカな。イルミは他に何十人か強力な兵隊を雇ってるに違いない。He's so just taking everyone out. Yikes. Yikes. Ah, fuck! And Lumi's just. I think we're gonna have to fight him. Holy shit. While, protect, while uh, protecting Aluka? That's gonna be hard. Difficult. イルミ様にもそのようにああ、ツボネ。雲が切れると同時に。またし線を感じるようになってようやく気づきました。あまりにタイミングが良すぎたことでね。ええ、おっしゃる通りでございます。ツボネ。中呼びのツネちょうだい
アルカをやってキルアに憎まれてそのキルアをやっている Oh my fucking god ベストダンジョンリソカ NO! <laughs> Don't do it! That's amazing! What? So there will be no consequence if she heals gone! Right? According to what he just said. Hey. So there's one more thing that Killaway isn't telling us. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know that when Nanika heals, nothing happens to anyone because she's just healing, you know? On some good shit. That's good to know. <clears throat> Uh, what's Hisoka doing? So Hisoka did, did not end up killing Aloka or Killua like he said he was. That, was, that honestly fucking scared me for a bit. Oh, okay. Fucking Hisoka just killed Teradrin. Holy shit. Why? What was his reasoning behind this? <laughs> Damn, our boy Leorio is up there, bro. Okay, well, I don't know what the fuck that was about. The ending? Uh, kill Hisoka just killed Teradrin. I don't know what his reasonings were, but he had a fucking evil smirk on his face. But he must have had his reasoning, so I'd like to hear what that reasoning was. Hopefully he explains it in the next couple episodes. Okay, so that's that. So, alright. So now that Killua has revealed to us another thing about Nanika. Um, so she, when she heals, when you, when, you, when you give her her requests, and you ask her to heal something, or to fix something... Uh, her request after that won't be cruel, according to what Killua said, right? No matter how big the healing is, maybe, you know? Of course, I don't know about Gon's situation, but, I mean, Killua must be confident enough to know that she can heal Gon without any repercussions. That's great! That's amazing! That was enough for Illumi. It looked like Illumi is, is, is retreating from now, but Killua is still hiding a rule that he has not told anyone. Even us, even the viewer. So I still don't know what that rule is. That what that that rule is probably going to be like the rule breaker. You know what I mean? That's definitely the most important rule if they're keeping it from us. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. Well, cool, dude. That's um. That's honestly, I'm very glad to hear that Nanika can heal without repercussion because that's that that would be the main reason in why Killua cannot use Nanika to heal Gon because. Uh, a healing of that fucking magnitude is definitely gonna cause some death, you feel me? But now that we know it's not gonna do anything to anyone, it's just gonna heal gone, good. That's good. That's enough. You know what I'm saying? Still, I still wanna know what that last rule that Killer was hiding is, but definitely, uh, at, at, as of now, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. That means gone's gonna be okay. F at least, you know, for the most part, so. Alright, cool, man. Tsubone! She's a fucking transformer. That's an awesome power. So what is that? That's fucking... Is that manipulation? Or is that a uh, specialist? I think it's a little bit of both, maybe. Because she's definitely manipulating her body, right? To change into a, a vehicle. Alright. Cool. <laughs> and, and apparently her, mor her motorcycle can fucking... Can keep up with Killua's god speed. That's... That's... That's insane. Because Killua's god speed is definitely... Was the fastest thing in the show, but now it might be Tsuboni's fucking motorcycle. That's that's kind of crazy. That's honestly kind of crazy. Of course, Killua's Godspeed allows him to move 
through mountains and shit where, you know, a motorcycle can only move through the road, so that gives him the advantage still, but still. Tsubone is pretty awesome power. Alright, cool. Well, now the, now all that's left is to get fucking uh, Aluka uh, to Gon, heal him up, and then uh, I guess just keep Aluka on the squad. You know, I guess we're, we're just forever gonna have Aluka with us now, right? Because Killua can't send Aluka back to the Zoldix unless they, you know, agreed to not fucking keep her in that in that fake ass, you know, doll room that's supposed to make her feel good. She, that, that's a maximum security prison, is what that is. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, Killua, A1 character, trying to save his best friend's life, trying to protect his little bro his little brother slash slash sister. So yeah, I fuck with Killua heavy. And hopefully he makes it to gone in time, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.